Hello and welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. We have plenty of sips and smacks for all the haters out there today. And as a special treat, I'm actually going to be cleaning the kitchen and doing the dishes while I'm making this video. So, some of you might have heard that this is a video game unlike any other with a real cash economy. That is correct. Some of you might have heard that you could make a lot of money being a space pirate. That used to be correct. So today, I want to dedicate this video to our good friend, probably the worst space pirate I've ever seen attempt piracy in this game, Ernest. Now, I'm kind of leaning toward believing Ernest is a new player, because he apparently has no clue what he's doing. However, I've been skilling VSE on the Crone in the past couple of days, and have seen him in space chat a few times, had one or two people mention he's been around. And today we had a little bit of an interaction. So I want to explain all the things Ernest did wrong so that you don't waste money doing the same things and so that Ernest will be absolutely infamous. Feel free to get a hold of Ernest if you're flying through space and see him in space chat and be sure and tell him that this video is all for him because he had no clue he was even talking to me. So I've seen him hanging out in space chat the past couple of days and as you guys might know, there was a time when you could actually make a lot of money being a space pirate in Entropia. Um, used to, back in the day, almost all of space was PvP lootable. So if you had anything in your hunting materials tab or your mining materials tab, it could be taken if you were shot down and killed by another player. Now let me explain how this worked. A. They had to destroy your ship. B. They had to actually kill you. Once your ship was destroyed, you would pop out. They had a limited amount of time to kill you, and it was a very small window. Now, I have no coordination. I have no hand-eye coordination whatsoever. So for me to even be able to hit a ship, it has never happened. And I was actually able to hit Ernest, so that tells you how bad he is at this. And to actually be able to hit the little bitty avatar that pops out, I don't think I could do it in a million years if I, I was given instructions how and they handed it to me on a silver platter. But there were some people back in the day that were very, very good at this. And since almost all of space was PvP lootable, there was a lot of people that would try and fly from the space station to the planet and they would get shot down and looted. Or they would try and fly from Crystal Palace to Calypso and they'd get shot down and looted. When I say almost all of space was lootable, I mean almost all of space. So there were a lot of people that would just hang out around the, the planet Calypso space station and wait for people to try and fly planet side or go from Crystal Palace to the planet. And you can actually still find some videos on YouTube. Some of these guys have great marksmanship skills. And you can see some of the loots they got. There was uh, several of them that had huge amounts of loot on them. So there was a time when being a pirate in Entropia could make you money and could make you a considerable amount of money. However, it's always been frowned on and those people have almost always been blackballed and blacklisted from most other things in the game. However... A while back, probably over a year ago now, Mindark changed the parts of space that are PvP lootable. Now it's very, very small parts of space. There's a very small space in between most planets, and then there's a big space kind of in the middle of the map where nobody really goes. Um, pretty much the only reason to go into the middle of the map is if you're doing repair skilling on a ship. Now, you could be hunting space mobs or something, but let's be honest, nobody does that in a quad. Um, nobody does that in a limited ship. The only people that are going to be doing that are going to have unlimited ships. And you would not be advised as a player trying to take down other players to try and take down an unlimited ship with your little bitty quad wing, right? So there was a time when maybe it was possible to make good money being a pirate even if everybody hated you. However, those days are long past. So Ernest didn't seem to understand this concept. So for new players, there's a couple of different options for ships. Now, if you're a free-to-play or low-depot player, you might want to get a sleep. They're usually a little bit cheaper. Sleepners are also a little bit slower, so they can get you from planet to planet. It's just a little bit longer of a ride. However, for those players wanting to spend a little bit more money, you can get a quad-wing interceptor, um, like the one we're looking at here. This is the one that most people are familiar with. looks kind of like a fighter jet. Um, this was also the vehicle of choice for most pirates back in the day. They are faster than sleeps, and this is what most people would use if they were a quote-unquote pirate. So I'm just sitting here doing some repair skilling on the Cronin. We're doing our regular 18-hour repair runs that we do every single day, and 
I'm multitasking. I was actually putting together another video. I've started putting out some of the real estate videos that I've been making. Some of them I've actually set notifications for all the subscribers from EarnPed that subscribe to the YouTube channel, but only if I think it's an interesting video. Well, I was finishing up a real estate video, and the pilot said, Hey guys, we've got a pirate in the area. So, guys, it's the Mothership Cronin. It is one of the highest structural integrity vehicles in the entire game. You literally, every day, we take this thing out on a regular basis, 18 hours a day, to try and destroy it. That way we can try and repair it and get the skills out of it. Think about what I'm saying. Try to destroy. Try to destroy because I've literally had balls of two to 300 space mobs attacking this ship at the exact same time. And they were not able to destroy it fast enough for me to not have a headache. The, the hardest part of doing these repair runs is just getting enough damage to the ship because it's like there's not enough space mobs in the entire game to really damage this thing. So, Ernest, in all his infinite wisdom, while we're doing a space run, doing repair skilling, while we have a giant ball of like 100 mobs behind us at close range attacking us, decides to try and attack the Cronin. Okay. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have some fun. I'm, I need a good laugh. So I pop out in my quad wing. As soon as I pop out the back of the ship, Ernest starts crying like a little girl in local chat. I'm going to report you for what? You attacked the ship that I was on. So I got my ship and popped out to fire back. What exactly are you going to report there? So, guys, I, and I hate to say this because I know it's an MMORPG. I know it draws the worst of the worst. But, dear Lord, if you're going to try and be a space pirate, at least don't be a crybaby whenever somebody shoots back at you. Seriously? What are you going to report? Oh, I, I attacked this ship because I was going to try and take all their stuff because it's worth real money. And they fought back, and that's not nice. Well, you shouldn't have tried to be a space pirate, you moron. And then, on top of that, you attack the ship with the highest structural integrity. And here's the best part. Here's the part that is mind-blowing. When we do repair runs, we don't carry lootables on us. All we carry is hundreds of repair tools and giant piles of welding wire. So even if you could shoot down the Mothership Cronin, even if you could, with your one single quad wing. Oh yeah, he didn't bring any backup, didn't bring any friends, just him. Even if you could pull that off, then you've got to kill us. And remember, it's PvP, so every shot is costing you money. And then you kill us, and we're not going to have anything on us. Literally nothing. Be I'll, here's my inventory. Nada. Nada. Those are the only two tabs you can loot. You can't take my tools. You can't take my weapons. can't take my armor. can't take my clothes. You can only take my materials and my mind resources, and I don't have any. Because we're doing a repair run, which literally, if you know anything about the game, you know that that's what this ship does all the time. So, I mean, just wow on wow on wow on wow. Now, here's the, the best part. I can't hit the, the broadside of a barn, okay? I've got no aim. I, I, I literally can't hit anything in this game to save my life in PvP. And I was able to hit Ernest. So how bad do you have to be at trying to be a PvPer for the worst PvPer of all time to actually land his first hit on you? I have never hit anything in PvP. Ever. And I hit your ship, dude. So what does that tell you? So guys, it, uh, one of the things about Entropia is everybody plays different. I get that. But one thing I cannot stress enough, and this is something that I think a lot of the EarnPed.com members and a lot of the subscribers know, is I always stress learning about the game for two reasons. A, if you don't learn about the game, it's going to make you look stupid. Ernest would not look stupid if Ernest had bothered to research the game at all and found out that, yes, back in the day, maybe piracy was a thing in space. But that hasn't been the case for like a year. I've flown through space I don't know how many times in the past year back and forth from Cali to all the different planets on the mothership in my quad. I, I have never in the past year passed another person in space. Number two, even if he had still decided it was a good idea, 
he would have done his research and known that you don't attack the mothership, Cronin. Of all the motherships to not attack, this one, and especially not during the middle of a repair run when it's got repair staff on that has no loot on them. If he had done even a basic amount of research, everybody wouldn't be laughing out of their seats at the moment. But he didn't. And that is why research is so important, is not only does it make you a smarter player, it, it stops you from doing stupid stuff. Everybody that plays this game is getting a great laugh out of this at the moment, at Ernest's expense, because Ernest didn't bother to do any research at all. If we were going to make a movie, we would call it Ernest Does His First MMO, right? He did no research, he looks like a buffoon, for good reason. And on top of that, he wasted pet. I can see him right now sitting in his little big quad, sitting there pulling his pet out of his pocket, counting them. Uh, I've got one, two, I've, hmm, I've got three ped left. Hmm, I can't afford to deposit. What should I do? Gets on Google, type, 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 type. How to earn ped. Hey, look, there's a website called earnped.com. Signs up, starts earning ped. Skip ahead six months. Hey, Stevie B, can I get a withdrawal? Yeah, let me explain proper thieving to you, brother. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's literal. it's not even comical how sad it is, right? So the other thing is, not only do you look bad, but then on top of that, you're wasting real money. Every shot he fired, that was real pet, that was real money. The decay on the weapon that he was shooting with every shot, real money. The damage he's taking to his quad, not just for me, but we've got a giant ball of space mobs that are doing him in because they're literally designed to attack the ship. He gets anywhere near the ship, they're going to attack him too. That's why you can't fly out in the back of a mothership during a repair run when all the mobs are back there because it will just crash your quad right into him and you'll be right back in the mothership when you revive. So, had he done any basic research on this game whatsoever, he would have learned that space piracy is pretty much extinct in this game and for good reason. Um, and he would have also learned not to attack this ship of all ships at this time of all times, right? And then, whenever I popped out, I would be the one player of all players he probably shouldn't have popped off to. But, you know, it is what it is. But even beyond that, it's just the saving money and making money in this game. Both are very, very hard. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. If you've never played Entropia before, yes, it is based off a real cash economy. Yes, you can make real money in this game. Yes, it is a real cash economy. However, being a self-sustaining player, being able to keep playing without having to deposit all the time or revert to free-to-play all the time, it is not easy. You have to do a lot of things right and try and avoid doing stupid things. And I hate to break it to you, we all do stupid things, guys. Every single one of us, me included. So, it's very, very difficult. That's why I make these videos to try and help shorten that learning curve for new players. To try and help get you as much information as I can before you get started or early on in your career. So you don't make some of the same mistakes that I make, other players make, uh, a lot of the common mistakes that are out there. Because I hate seeing new players get started, get frustrated, and then quit. I would rather see new players start, be a little frustrated, get a lot of information, learn, and then play smarter, not harder, right? So, unfortunately, I mean, I've seen it a thousand times. Ernest ain't going to be around long. I, I mean, just based off the lack of research and how expensive the game can be to play if you don't play it correctly and everything else that goes into it, he's probably going to be gone here in a couple of weeks if, if he makes it that long. But I wanted to put this out there because I know there are a lot of people that think, hey, it, it, their only exposure to Entropia is that you can make money being a space pirate. And like I said, guys, at one point, that was true. At one point, and I'll try and find some of the videos that are still up on YouTube from some of the OGs, there were guys that could take you out between Planet Calypso Space Station and landing on Planet Calypso. I mean, these guys were good. And I've seen some of their loot screens in those videos. And I've heard some of the stories. People lost a lot of money from space PvP back in the day. And that's why they were blackballed from everything else. If you were a space pirate, you weren't getting on a mothership crew. You weren't going to be doing repair skilling. You weren't going to be invited into events and societies. There would be like one little bitty pirate society and that was it. Um, it was kind of a big deal. And in a way, I don't want to say it was all bad. Because it gave people an incentive to use warps. So the ship owners had customers that had more of an incentive to pay them to warp them between planets. Um, it also gave people incentive to use the teleporters from the space station to planet because it cost seven ped just to teleport from the space station to the planet right below it. So it gave people a lot more incentive to do that, which was a revenue stream for Mindark. Um, so I'm not going to say that it was all bad or there was no upsides to it. 
but there was a lot of downsides to it and the, the downsides to it probably outweighed some of the upsides because if you own a ship uh, you've probably got some money invested in game whereas if your entire bankroll was 100 ped and you get that looted from you in space you might never log in again so there, there was definitely some upsides and downsides to the mechanic but that time is long past and unless they make some drastic changes to how space operates and why people would go into space and how much time people are going to spend into space the odds of you being able to really make space piracy a thing in this game is pretty much zero and there's a lot of people that want to keep it that way um, i'm not saying i'm for or against it whatever mind dark decides to do in the future mind dark decides to do they did promise a really cool cargo transportation system several years ago that still has not came to fruition. Um, I know there's a lot of people, including JBK, that have pushed for that one because it could really create some extra revenue for players. Um, so Mindart, hopefully at some point, will do things to space. But as of right now, the whole space piracy thing, that's just a part of the history of Entropia. There's still going to be people like Ernest out there they're not going to research the game. They're not going to have a clue what they're doing. They're just going to log in and, oh, I want to be a space pirate. Mm, okay, whatever. More power to you, bro. But just be warned, if you were going to go that route and you do stupid things, I will call you out on it. And I don't know how much stupider of a thing you can do than to attack the mothership Cronin of all ships during a repair run when nobody has loot on them. Everybody has repair tools and welding wire. And then when... Stevie B, the guy with the YouTube followers, yeah, him, when he pops out of the back to defend the ship that you just shot at, to then cry like a little kid to his mommy, I'm going to report you for fighting back. I don't know what to tell you, brother. And then the fact that I was actually able to hit him when I can't hit the broadside of a barn, I thought I was the worst PvPer ever. I think he just weren't, earned, I think he just earned the title away from me. So, guys, Entropia is a great game. There are a lot of ways you can make money in this game. There's a lot of different things you can do that are profitable. Um, space piracy is not one of them. Even if you could manage to make a few peck doing it, even if you miraculously were able to shoot somebody down that actually had loot on them, um, I've got very bad news for you, but the amount of reputation damage it would do to you, the amount of events you would be blackballed from, the amount of... Uh, social ostracization that would be out there you you would just you'd be ostracized completely from most everybody in game um being a space pirate in this game you might have used to been profitable but even if you could make a few dollars at it now the amount of downside just from a reputation standpoint that comes with it and being blackballed from everything else in game is it really worth that couple of bucks i mean you pretty much would be a complete outcast so it's really just not worth it and in a way, I feel sad for Ernest because I know he's a new player that doesn't have a clue. And I know that this road that he is on is going to lead him to eventually quitting the game because he's going to be outcast from everything in game. Um, as soon as people find out what he's trying to do, he, he's done. He's not going to get invited to anything and he's going to have a very, very lonely career in a universe full of avatars. So I do kind of feel bad for players like that. But guys, if it's something that... if Entropia is something you're considering playing. I strongly recommend it. I do strongly recommend learning as much as you can before you get started. And part of it isn't just to save money. Part of it is to save your reputation, save your career, and save your ability to have fun in the game. Because if nobody will speak to you, if nobody will play with you, if you have no friends to chat with, why are you here? I can't imagine how utterly horrible that would be. Um, some of the best friends that I've got in the entire world I've never actually met outside of this game. And they're some of the best people that I've ever had in my life. So guys, that has kind of been the overview of what happened and the do's and don'ts of being in space and what to do when you're a new player, especially if you're a new player that is somehow convinced you're going to make money on, by using PvP lootable space. You're not. Forget it. Um, for those of you who do play and do play pretty regularly, especially the new players who started in the past year and a half to two years, if you want to see some of the old videos that some of the old space PVPers were putting out, you can find them on YouTube if you dig hard enough. I do recommend taking a few minutes to try and look them up because they'll give you a much better idea of what space used to be like and you can thank your lucky stars that's not like that today. 
So guys, from EarnPed.com, I've been Stevie B. If you want to help support us, the best way you can do that is to head over to EarnPed.com because when you earn, we earn. That is the best way you can support us, and we appreciate everybody doing that. Also, hit that subscribe button down below because that helps us out too. You'll get a notification when we post a new video. As I said earlier, I have started putting out some real estate videos and pinging it to the subscribers. So if you're interested in watching those videos, feel free. If that's not your cup of tea, don't worry about watching it, guys. You ain't got to watch every video if you're only into eu cool if you're into both cool i want to put out the information that helps people if i can do that in real estate as well as in game i'm going to do that so if it's your cup of tea cool we've got even more content for you the rk0 competition is still going on if you haven't heard about that hop over to earnped.com scroll down to the bottom of the home page you can check out all the information you need there if you have already gotten an rk0 from the rk0 competition wonderful i've got plenty more to give away i think i've got like 600 of them at the moment and that's why i'm burning through them as fast as i can i can only burn about four or five a day in space doing vse i can't burn more than that um so even if i could i, I can always make more so we've got plenty more to give away. Even if you've already got one, keep the entries coming because you can always earn more. And we will be back with more content for you guys in the very near future. Sip, sip, smack, smack, F the haters. Rest in peace, Ernest, because I'm sure that Ernest doing space isn't going to last more than a few weeks. And we'll see you guys here real quick. Take care, Stevies.